this video, I'm going to show you how to use live view mode on your Canon T-Series camera for photography. To access live view mode for photography, simply just push the camera record button on the back of the camera and you'll notice that it'll flip from the viewfinder to the LCD screen. The first thing to take note of is the information that's displayed on the screen. So at the bottom here we have shutter speed, aperture, exposure compensation, ISO, and battery life. Over on the side we have our quick menu which can be accessed by this Q button right here. In the quick menu you can change things such as your autofocus mode, your shooting mode, so single, continuous, or your timers. You can also change your white balance, your picture styles, your picture quality settings, and your ISO. The last two things displayed on the screen are your exposure histogram up here and your autofocus box right here. If that much information being displayed on the screen is too much for you, you can use this display button to change that. So hitting it once will get rid of everything, hitting it again will bring back exposure settings, then the quick menu, and then everything once again. To change shutter speed, simply just scroll with your index finger, and to change aperture, hold down this AV plus minus button, and then scroll with your index finger. Now that we have all of that out of the way, let's talk about the benefits of using live view mode, or at least some of the unique features that go along with live view mode. The first benefit that I'm going to talk about is something that you can't access while using the viewfinder, and that's grid display. So if we look here, you can see these lines on the screen, those rule of thirds lines, that's grid display. If you go into the menu and then go to the last red menu, you will find grid display. In there, there's grid display 1, which we were already on, and then there's grid display 2 that has many more lines to help us line things up. Having access to different grid displays can really help with image composition. The second thing that I'm going to talk about in regards to live view mode is autofocus. If we go into the Q menu, we can see that there are three different autofocus modes. In live mode, you'll see that the autofocus, if you hold down the shutter part way, it will take way longer than it would using autofocus in the viewfinder mode. So if you have anything that's moving that you need to autofocus on, do not use live view mode. It's better suited for controlled composition. So like macro photography that you're getting close in on something, still life, or maybe landscape. But other than that, just use the viewfinder for autofocus. When we switch over to live mode with face detection, the only thing that's really different here is that now instead of you picking where the box is, the camera will detect faces, at which point you still have to hold the shutter button down part way until you achieve focus and then push it the rest of the way to take the picture. If your subject moves, you're going to have to acquire focus once again. The next feature that I'm going to talk about is something I'm calling punch in to focus assist, which is this button right here. When you push it, it'll punch in five times closer to help you focus. If you push it a second time, it'll punch in 10 times closer to focus. At that point, if you need to change where your focus point is, you can use the arrows to move the screen around. You're not gonna move the box now, you're gonna move the image behind it to where you want it. Then just hold down the shutter release part way until the camera focuses. And you can see that in automatic, it takes a little longer or you can use it in manual focus to give yourself a closer look. When you're satisfied with your focus, just push the button one more time and it'll go back to your original look. Then just take the picture. The last benefit of using live view mode and probably the most important is that unlike the viewfinder, which is just a piece of glass that you're looking through, live view mode uses the LCD screen, which can give you real time feedback on what your image is gonna look like with the settings that you have. For example, if we look on the screen right now, I'm going to click display so we can see our exposure settings. When I change my shutter speed in live view mode, you can see the image getting darker and darker and darker as I change the settings. So here's another example. If I go into the Q menu and I change our ISO, if I bump it up, you can see that it gets brighter in the background. If I bump it up to 6400, it gets brighter. So we get a real-time view of what our image is going to look like in terms of exposure and white balance. So if I go into white balance here and I change my white balance, you can see that it changes as I change the settings. You're not going to get that by using the viewfinder. So in the end, besides using live view for rule of thirds or to punch in and focus assist every once in a while, my main use for it is to use the live feedback to help dial in my settings. But then I almost always switch back to the viewfinder before I actually take the picture. So that's pretty much all you need to know about using live view mode on your Canon T-Series camera. If you got something out of this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.